All right, so here's our uh, our Curtis throttle. This is the 134, which as I understand is the same as the 126, except this does not have a spring return. Uh, so here is the information. We got two pages here and it says 13 to 58. The box itself says 24 to 48. Uh, looks like it seems to work on 12 or 14 volts. Uh, these are our pinouts for here. We don't have a plug to match, so I just wired them up on this little board right here for doing a test to see that everything works. And uh, it looks like it does. So I got my power supply. The thing with this uh, device is it must be powered up. It needs power to work. So... Uh, we either need to, if it was a golf buggy or something that ran on 48 volts, we could use the 48 volt supply. But if you don't have that, then you've got to have a power supply like I have here. And I've got this one set for uh, 14 volts. Uh, so, got my power coming in on pin 2, B+, plus, and pin 7 is my uh, negative battery. Now the thing with the uh, that's not written in any of these instructions, I'm going to go to my negative battery and then I'm going to go to my my uh, uh, forward. Are we? Yeah, forward. No, I'm going to go to my re yeah, to my forward. So when I go forward Oh, oh got a hook my B plus voltage up and he goes to pin number two all right so from the ground and I'm just going to use this right here so that you can see that it does put out some enough current to light a light bulb it says it puts out an amp and a half which is about what the average contactor an amp is what it uses so you see we got our light on we come back to neutral no light off we go backwards and now this other one lights up this is our so you would have your con you'd have two contactors a reversing contactor and a forward contactor and as you reversed and, and forwarded you'd want the vehicle to move faster as you push the lever more forward and you get that with your 0 to 5 volts that runs your your controller. So as you push farther forward, you want to go faster and the voltage will go up higher. So we use the pin number 1, which is pot low, and pin number uh, 8, which is pot high. And as you see, we're at 0 volts now. As we go forward, now why is that not working? Oh, that's not working because we had a wire pop out of our plug this is our plug which it would be nice to get another plug that matched that that would make things simple so now between our pot low which is pin 1 and our pot high which is pin 8 we have 0 to 5 volts so as you see when we go forward our voltage goes up we come back, our voltage goes to zero, and we come back, and our voltage goes the other way. Now, even though I'm putting 14 volts in, whatever voltage I put in, that doesn't change this. It still comes back out as 5 volts, even if I turn my supply up or down. Uh, I imagine it's got to have at least 13. We should see how low this thing will actually operate on. 
I don't think it will work on 5 volts. No, it won't work on 5 volts. So you got to have more than 5 volts. Looks like it might work on 9 volts. But they want 13 in the in the uh, thing. So all right, so we've got an output that comes out our two relays, which is whatever our voltages of our supply. Uh, pretty nice piece, I gotta say. There's a uh, there's a lot to be said for this Hall effect compared to the resistor. A potentiometer just like on your stereo or anything else develops that little scratch. This with its Hall effect does not have it's not affected by humidity or anything else. So that's pretty nice. Instructions, well they are what they are. I'm always amazed at how little information on something that's so important. If I was a a person and I didn't know a whole lot, I'd want to know forward and reverse. I'd want to know where do those connect to. You just got forward and reverse. What do I do? Do I hook it to the positive or the negative? And where's the other wire? We need two wires to make something work. And where you get that other wire is the battery negative. So engineers and everybody else says, well, everybody knows if we don't say something, just put it to battery negative. All right. Got lots of room on the paper. One little thing would have been helpful little diagram or something but we figured it out anyway maybe this is their way of uh, job security we, we won't tell anybody exactly unless you go to school and figure it out and even then maybe we'll just keep everything uh, a mystery that said I'm really impressed with this uh, I have I've never used one of these before uh, because I like things simple uh, but all in all it's got a nice movement feels very very substantial that way and uh, there we have it